everyone, it's Janine. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm in the middle of my Christmas preparation frenzy and I'm making a t-shirt. I thought that I would show you today how to add a back facing to a t-shirt. A couple of people in my ASG chapter asked me to demonstrate it, so I thought I'd make a YouTube video and perhaps it will be helpful to someone else. I saw this demonstrated a couple of years ago at an ASG event and since then I've used it several times on various tops. But I want to show you one that's completed so you know what I'm doing. This is a deer and doe plantain in a very simple cotton knit. And you can see the back facing. It not only finishes off the top nicely, it also gives the perfect place for your label. You don't need any special tools or techniques. All you need is the fabric that you've used to make your t-shirt, needle, thread, your machine, and that's it. It only adds about 10 minutes to the entire process. The pattern that I'm using today is the grain line Lark, and I'm making a scoop neck tee out of a doodle cotton knit from Joanne Fabrics. I'll admit it's kind of a juvenile holiday print, but that's half the fun of sewing. You can make up some silly things. So I've actually already cut out the pattern, and this is the front piece with the scoop neck on it, and I've stitched it and pressed the shoulder seams so it's attached to the back. When I cut it out, I saved the piece that I took out of the scoop neck, and this is it here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to prepare this piece so that it can be inserted as the back facing. This is just going to take a minute. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to surge the outside edge of the facing piece. I'm going to surge right along the edge and not trim off any fabric. So now we have a nice finished edge. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my label here right in the center and I'm going to make sure that I place it far enough down that it's not going to be caught in the neck edge. So now I have edge finished around the facing and I've put on my label. Of course the label is optional. I surge the edge finish. However, if you don't have a serger, you could turn the fabric and stitch it. However, that's going to possibly create some bulk that you can see on the other side of the top. So my suggestion, if you don't have a serger, would be to just edge finish this with your sewing machine. It's a knit. It's not going to unravel. You really just want to neaten it up. Now, as I mentioned previously, I have already attached the front to the back at the shoulders and finished that. So, now what we are going to do, we are going to attach the back facing to the wrong side of the back because of course the back facing is going to be on the inside of the t-shirt. So what we do is we take the facing, we're going to center it, and we're actually going to set it so that the edges here, right here, match. We're not going to match it in the middle because you'll see then we have this area here where the facing isn't going to match. So just pull it up so that the corners are even and matching. Is I have placed 
the back facing on the wrong side of the back. I've evened it up. Now I'm going to pin it and then we're going to go to the sewing machine. So now I have the facing pinned well to the back. I'm going to trim this off here so that I can stitch close and I'm not guessing where things are. So I'm going to trim that, then I'm going to go to the machine and I'm going to stitch around the edge of the facing. So I'm going to start stitching on the upper edge, the neck edge, and I'm going to stitch with a straight stitch three millimeters because it's going to wind up being top stitching. I have decided to use white thread because I kind of like the look of the thread on the back of the top. If I didn't want the thread to show, then I would use, of course, a navy thread. So I'm just going to start stitching here at a quarter inch seam allowance. Being careful not to pull the fabric. Anyone else have cats who sew? That's a laughable question, isn't it? So before I turn, let's take a look and see what this looks like on the outside. I think the white is going to be a nice casual look on this very casual fabric. So now I'm going to turn and I'm going to try to stitch as close to the edge of the serging the outside edge of the serging as I possibly can because I don't want this to turn up when it's being washed. If I yelp it's because the cat has bitten me because that's what she likes to do. So now we have the facing stitched and you can see the line on the outside. I may even do a second line of stitching to dress it up a little bit, but it's not a bad look at all. It's kind of cute. So now I'm just going to finish sewing the rest of the top. Uh, I will show you how to do the neck band after I have attached the sleeves. Okay, so I've stitched up the, I've put on the sleeves, I've stitched the sides, and truly all that's left on this t-shirt is doing the neckband and the hem on the bottom of the top and the cuffs. So the next thing that we have to do is follow the instructions that the pattern gave us for doing the neckband. But as you can see, this is already attached. So with this particular pattern, you just fold the neckband in half, match the raw edges and stitch. And before I stitch, I just want to show you that all I've done is I've just matched the raw edges and we have the facing and the back there. So I'm just going to stitch it and uh, then I'll finish it with a wobble stitch or something or I might pull out the cover stitch machine. So I've just got this pinned and now I'm going to go stitch. So we have a finished top. I think the total time for this top was about two hours and the additional time required to add the back facing was maybe 10 minutes. As I said yesterday, it's a really quick way to elevate your simple t-shirt projects. Here's what the finished top looks like.
For this particular pattern, you just stitched on the neckband and then stitched down the seam allowance. So you can see that on the back here. I used two rows of white stitching around the edge of the back facing. But that's it. Your top's going to look, look a little bit more ready to wear when you pack it up and put it in a box and give it to someone or when you see it folded neatly in your own drawer. Truly, this is a project that anyone at any sewing level can add to any of their t-shirt or knit top makes. I hope this was helpful to you. If there's anything that I can do to improve how I demonstrate my sewing, or if you have any other suggestions, I know one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to <laughs> say I'm going to a lot less. I have to find a new catchphrase. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. I think someone wants some attention. Have a great day.